1973, Bill takes a recording of one of his patients to show at the American Neurological Association. And when he played the video, one of the neurologists in the audience at this conference comes up to him and says, you know what? I know a dog that exhibits exactly those same behaviors. And it turns out that the dog in question was a French poodle in Saskatchewan. So Bill contacted the owners and bought the poodle from them. And they named her Monique because she was French. And they started studying her and gathering more dogs that had narcolepsy by going to vet clinics and animal shelters. Because it's easier to run tests on animals? Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, cool, I'm on board, but just wanted to clarify that they're just <laughs> essentially gathering test subjects. <laughs> they basically are. It's like, so what their goal is here is they started breeding the narcoleptic dogs together and they were able to basically create a animal model of narcolepsy, which they didn't have before. So it turns out <laughs> narcolepsy is a heritable trait that's controlled by a single recessive gene. And so by breeding these dogs together, they were able to come up with a litter of puppies that all exhibited narcolepsy, which is so cute and so sad at the same time. Like all these little dogs just falling asleep randomly. <laughs> 